Welcome aboard. Today I'm going to show you how AWS and TPWS equipment works. So at the moment we're at Portsmouth Harbour. Now this isn't this is not a Great Western Railway train, unfortunately. Um, the turbo in the game is um, quite an old model, so it wouldn't be very good to show you that one. However, um, this train is, is um, pretty efficient uh, for me to be able to show you how it works. So as I said, we're currently at Portsmouth Harbour. You can see up here there's the banner repeater, um, which is currently in the horizontal position, which means the connected signal at the end of the platform, the starting signal, is showing a danger aspect. Um, and this banner repeater is here because, as you can see, the sighting of the signal is reduced um, due to the canopy and the curve of the platform. So ignore that gentleman there disappearing into the wall. <laughs> Bit of magic there. So that alarm that alarm going off is the driver safety device, the DSD. So to reset that, I've lifted the pedal and pressed it down again. That's to um, basically to tell the train I'm still conscious, I'm still here, and I haven't run off to get a cup of tea. So we're just waiting for a signal clearance and for the um, conductor to give us the, uh, the ready to start signal, then we will be on our way out of Portsmouth Harbour. Should not be too much longer. I did see a train leave platform one, um, so hopefully that will be out all the way shortly. And ignore that man uh, levitating across the track again. Um, should really be an, uh, an emergency call to the signaller. <laughs> and so the signal, um, the repeater has changed to invert, um, a diagonal position, which means that the connected signal has changed to a proceed aspect. So once that gentleman gets out of the way um, and the, the conductor gives us the ready to start, we'll be on our way. Okay. Again, ignore the uh, passengers. Unfortunately, that's one of the uh, perks of the game. Uh, <laughs> A few glitches like that, but um, hopefully that should not happen in real life, unless you do meet a levitating magician, which I am not. So leaving a platform at about 15 miles per hour. But slower, depending on what the next signal is. So up here we've got a three aspect signal, um, manual signal because it's a black plate and below it is the TPWS um, grids. Now if that signal was red those grids would be active and they would automatically stop the train which would light up the TPWS board down here. Uh, the driver couldn't reset this for a minute and then would need to contact the signaller for clearance to proceed. And there you go, there's a Great Western Railway um, turbo coming in there. So that's great to see. And you can see the banner repeater here. Uh, it's here because the connected signal um, it, it's, it's, you can't see it very well. Um, that's in a vertical position, meaning that the connected signal is at a proceed aspect. And that bing you just heard, that's the AWS um, clear signal. So that's telling the driver that the signal is green. So when the rear, when the rear of the train has passed the speed board, about now, then we can accelerate to the line speed of 20 miles per hour another TPWS grid down there as well but not active because the signal is currently green we're coming up to another ramp here the signals are quite close together and you can see it's double yellow so you hear what happens now so that alarm sounds I've cancelled it with a yellow button here and that's basically uh, the system warning me that the signal is um, showing a cautionary aspect and me pressing the button is telling the system um, that I'm aware of it and again, this TPWS ramp isn't live because it's a perceived signal. I can proceed past this signal. And another ramp coming up with a yellow signal here. So again, yellow button there, and the sunflower lights up to let to remind the driver that the next signal is showing a caution aspect. So I'm just coasting now as we pass this signal again at another TPWS grid which will not be active because the signal is showing proceed as far as the next signal which is coming up right now you can see it's currently on red so again reset the AWS um, you can hear it is the same sound as a yellow, double yellow and red aspect so we're just putting up the signal nice and slowly now
as there is a train in the block section ahead of us. This is a track circuit block area. Okay, and now neutral and DR DRA on. And you can see here this signal um, is controlled by Havant signal box. It's signal 68, and the black, the plain black plate indicates it's a manual signal controlled by the signal box. Now there's the, the so that's signal Hotel Tango 68, and below it is a signal post phone identified by the black diagonal lines. Okay, that's that's the basics of how AWS um, works. Thank you for watching.